So today I got a notification on my phone that today was day 18 for my chickens, uh, which means time to go into lockdown. And I had totally forgotten I don't have my brooder ready. I was just taken off guard. So we're going to go into lockdown and I'm going to show y'all how to do it. I am still very impressed with my farm innovations 4250. It holds my temperature and humidity beautifully. I want to suggest though that it's kind of like your oven where your oven might be different than your neighbor who bought the same exact oven. You got to verify with this. It's a laser thermometer. You need to verify the shell temperature. That means opening it up real quick, lasering around, getting all your different temperatures and making sure that the temperature of the egg itself do not depend on air temperature. Do not t depend on the temperature of anything you stick in there or you know what's built into the the incubator itself you want to laser the eggshell and so far so good they're all matching very well but that is not always the case and in fact the one that I borrowed from a friend it's got my duck eggs in it I can't get the humidity on that one up to save my life I put a hygrometer in there um, it just I, I keep pouring water pouring water pouring water and <laughs> I can't get my humidity up and with the farm innovators um, I have to be real careful, put a little bit of water in there and wait because sometimes I can overdo it and I gotta open it up and let the humidity out. So this one, you put water in there and you wait an hour and you come back and check on it, you're probably gonna be good to go with not much water and it maintains it for days. Where the other one, I just can't even get it up to speed. So anyway, we're gonna go into lockdown. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quick laser temperature of my eggs and just make sure everything's okay. And I've got my water ready to add because when you go into lockdown, you want to go up to 65 to 70% humidity. That means I need to add water and I'm going to do it incrementally so that I don't overdo because I have done that. Um, and there should be some condensation on the window um, to let you know that you got your humidity up. But anyway, it's real simple. I'm in my laundry room because this is a place that doesn't have a window. It doesn't have drafts. The temperature stays the same in here, and that's real important when you're incubating eggs is that you don't have a lot of variable temperatures around, and then that helps the incubator to keep that same temperature going. All right, and unlike the Asian that I've reviewed before, <clears throat> this looks a lot easier. You had to take out each little egg turner. This one, you lift the whole unit out, you put your eggs back in, go. So this is another reason why I like this a lot better than the last incubator I reviewed. If you want to go back to that playlist and see all the things that I liked about it are still legit, but it just didn't at the end. I had it almost kill some chicks. It could not maintain the temperature and when I went to clean it, it fried everything because the circuitry was in the bottom where it should be in the top portion. The, the cover should have all the electronics in it, not the bottom where the eggs go because it gets dirty as the chicks are hatching and the goo goes down there and when you go to clean it you got a mess and that's not the case. I love also, I'm going into lockdown and my babies are going to be running around. There are no gaps on the edges of this one. The Asian had large enough gaps that my babies were, and, they're, and they're, they love to get up on the wall. They're trying to snuggle. There's no mother in there and they all get up on the wall and that little bit of gap was enough for them to all start going underneath there and that's really dangerous. So, and then I had to open up my incubator to save those, which then shrunk wrap the rest of them that are trying to get out. That rush of um, low humidity air got in there and it's just real dangerous and I had this cascade of interventions I had to do after that. All because of the very poor design of them. This one has all the things that I like, but none of the flaws. So, quickly, we're gonna take the whole thing out. I have candled these, they all look great. I had, let's see, seven that did not appear to be fertilized. I've got four dark ones that I just can't even see. Um, three are in this one, one's in my duck one because I like the brown eggs and I'm trying to hatch some of those out, but I can't see in those. I don't know if they're okay, but of the ones that were opaque enough or non-opaque enough that I could see through them to candle them, about seven of them weren't fertile or had early demise, which is just a function of genetics. It's not a problem with the incubator, but of these that I have left, all should be good if the incubator does its job, and I think this one's going to do that, but stick with me for my update in three days when I will show you 
the outcome when my hatch is complete. So I'm just going to sit these inside here on their sides. Trying to work quickly. I don't want them to cool off too much. It's not a big deal because, and some people actually do this, they will simulate the mom getting off the nest every day to go do her business and they will put, they will take off the lid of the eggs and let them cool off a bit each day. I don't really go that far with it. But it's not a big deal for you to be open for a little while, but you do want to do things quickly enough. You will put the lid back on because these guys should be hatching in the next three days. Some a little sooner, some a little later. I'm going to be showing you how to do your own brooder. So come back if you want to see how we do that efficiently and inexpensively. And there we go. All I got to do is move that egg turner out of the way, put my lid back on, And then here's my little filling hole for my water. I'm going to um, be slowly getting my humidity up to 65% to 70. And then once the first baby starts hatching, you're supposed to take this red stopper out to give them a little more airflow. And after they're all out, you're supposed to take the second one out to give them more oxygen because they're going to be the more chicks run around, the more oxygen is going to be necessary. But all that's in the directions. But I'm going to show you how, how we do that as we do it. And... I can't wait to have babies. I love babies. That's probably why I have 10 children. But anyway, stick with me and y'all see how it all turns out. Quick little addendum. I forgot the laser room during the video that I just shot, but I'm a, I, I just opened it back up, took my laser temperature, and I um, found them all to be in good range. They're a little bit cooled off from me opening it up, but they should get back up to temperature very quickly. And also, I decided, because I remember that the front part tends to be a little bit cooler, that first row can be a little cool, and so people will rotate the first eggs to the back and, and keep all the eggs rotating as they go through the 21 days to make sure that it's probably okay, even if you don't do that. But if you're a stickler and you're trying to get the max hack trait that you can, then you might want to rotate your eggs through there. But I just kind of made sure all mine were more towards the back and that, that there was a gap of, I don't know, an inch or two up front where it might be a little bit cooler. So as they're hatching, that's not an issue. But anyway, just wanted to add, I forgot the laser, but we're good to go. I did it and it's all good. One more addendum. Once you go into lockdown, you should not open it back up. That's why they call it lockdown. If you open it up while the babies are trying to hatch, and some of them could start hatching in the next day, some of them might in the next couple of days after that, you might have some that are day 23 even. You do not want to open up your incubators until they're all as if hatched, and a baby can go a couple of days without any food and water, and, but they need to dry off and you need to leave that thing closed. You do not want to open it up and that will put your chicks that are still hatching in danger because the membrane will shrink from the decreased humidity and it'll kill them. And if you don't want them to die, then you have to help them out. And sometimes they'll make it, sometimes they won't. So I wanted to add that last thing too.